we are live. <laughs> there, Facebook. Excuse me. I just took my last bite of dinner right before I turned the camera on. That probably wasn't the smartest thing for me to do. I apologize for that. Hey, y'all. My name is Mick Shriver. I'm an Episcopal priest. I serve two parishes in a town called Ludington, Michigan. And every night at 9 o'clock, people from the parishes I serve, that would be Emmanuel Lutheran and Grace Episcopal, along with uh, people from across the state, across the country and other places, well, we gather online together and we just try to end our day uh, trying to make each other smile a little bit. Uh, the things we do here online, the next 20 minutes or so, we share an adult beverage together or an iced tea or Kool-Aid, <laughs> which is what I'm having. And uh, we read a little Bible together. We uh, say prayers for people who have asked us to pray for them. We have we uh, have a devotion that goes along with the scripture that we read, and we say the nightly office from the Episcopal tradition. Okay? So, if this is your first time with us, welcome. Don't know how you found us, but you found us. And that's awesome. So, today is Friday, May 28th, all day long. And uh, it's been a pretty decent day here in Michigan, or here in our part of Michigan. It started off a little drizzly, a little chilly, but the sun came out about midday or so, and it was all good from then. Got up into uh, the high 50s, if not in some places, low 60s today. So just a real nice spring day today, okay? Hmm. I was thinking about a question for tonight. And instead of a question, I'm going to give you an update, okay? On something that I challenged you a while back. And my question is going to relate more to that challenge. I'll get to that in just a second. Why don't we go ahead and check in and see who's with us so far, okay? Okay. We got Jenny Jenny with us, Miss Jenny from Howell, formerly from Ludington, formerly from Poughkeepsie, formerly from England, formerly from where else did you, <laughs> Detroit area, uh, Plymouth actually. Uh, you've moved around quite a bit, Miss Jenny. <laughs> Sharon Walton is here too. Good to see you, Miss Sharon. Kelly Rivera from Houston. And Pat Jarvie is here, from also from Ludington. Let's see, Default just came in, wishing a all a memorable, happy Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's a tongue twister. Memorable, memor memorable, happy Memorial Day weekend. Mike Burns and Priscilla just, just popped in also. Good to see you guys. Hey, an update on what's happening in my house. Um, my wife and my daughter's... And my grandson uh, all took off mid-afternoon this afternoon, about, I'm going to say 3 o'clock or so. They took off for Indianapolis for the weekend. So they're going down to see my other daughter and her husband. So, the one who normally jo joins us online, Ashley. So they're all on the road. If Well, they're probably already there. I hope they're already there safe and sound. They've had enough time to get there now. Um, so, if you guys are watching, miss you already. Mike Burns says, hi. Let's see, what else does he say? Mike Burns says, hi. Let us remember what Memorial Day is all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Armed Forces Day is for the people who are currently wearing the uniform. Veterans Day is for people who have served and are no longer wearing the uniform. Memorial Day are for those who never took the uniform off. Um, and that is something for us to remember. Thank you, Mike. Jenny Gray says, Poughkeepsie was just my IBM visiting place. Oh, you never lived there. Gotcha. Uh, you seem to know the area so well. When, when we spoke, I thought for sure you must have lived there. Fishkill. East Fishkill. Oh, no. Anyway. Um, let's see. What else is going on? By the way, we probably have one or two people watching with us right now from New York, from Hopewell Junction. Um, a lot of parishioners from the church I used to serve in. Uh, in New York at Resurrection. Um, they are occasionally with us on the night broadcast here. If they are not with us live, then I know some who watch it first thing in the morning. So, good morning, Mike. If you're not already here, it's good to see you, buddy. Uh, and Sheila Ray just popped in, too. It's great to see you, Sheila, from Coopersville. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to give you an update first, and then I'm going to ask you a question that has to do with the update. A while back, I gave you guys a challenge of performing a random act of kindness on somebody. Just somebody unsuspecting. Just do something nice for somebody. Okay? It could be paying the toll 
um, for the person in back of you uh, when you when you are traveling or something like that, or um, picking up the tab for somebody in back of you in the line at the drive-through, or just leaving a present for somebody anonymously on their doorstep, something you you, you know that they were they were wanting. Just because. No special reason. No birthday. No anniversary. Just because. Just a random act of kindness. Well, this afternoon I got a call. A man was so excited. A man who is with us very often um, when he can. If he doesn't see it at night, again, he watches it through the day. His name is Frank. Mr. Cayley called me today and told me about an opportunity that he had to... Oh, Frank is with us right here. He is. He just popped in. Frank, I'm telling on you, man. Frank had the opportunity, and I know I'm going to mess up this story, but uh, the important parts I, I think I got right. He and his wife were amongst a group of friends who were out to a restaurant eating, uh, I believe up in Manistee. And as they were, uh, as the ladies were all gathered in one area and the gentlemen were all gathered in another, in through the door came, I believe, about a half a dozen young ladies in prom dresses with no male escorts, just the six young ladies themselves. And uh, they sat down to eat. And, well, as, as conversation went on and as a member of Frank's group went over to the ladies or uh, somehow they found out that the, the ladies, um, their dates, all the gentlemen wanted to eat at one restaurant and all the ladies wanted to eat at another one. So they split up for prom. And all the gentlemen went to the restaurant they wanted to. And Frank and his group had the company of these six young ladies for dinner. Okay, at that restaurant. And this is where the story gets interesting. Frank and his group decide that in order to um, gift or bless the young ladies, that they were going to take a collection around their table, around their 12. Um, and they were going to pick up the dinner tab for the young ladies for prom. And and they did that, and it was a beautiful, wonderful thing. And in turn, the young ladies then left a rather sizable tip for the waitress who was waiting on them. So they paid it forward, in essence. Now the story went on from there, as a picture had been taken with the group of ladies who were celebrating their prom, along with the ladies from Frank's group. Well, somehow this picture got to um, one of the fathers, and that father knows Frank and Joan, and called them up to tell them how, how his daughter was just thrilled to no end in their whole group, that someone would just do that for them, just out of the kindness of their hearts. So that's an awesome thing. That is... Frank, good on you, man. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> that's fantastic. So that's my question to you guys tonight. Have you had a chance or an opportunity uh, to perform a random act of kindness lately? And if so, how did it come out? In the meantime, we're going to be looking at uh, our scripture tonight from Romans. We're going to pick up right where we left off last night, okay? Absolutely, Sheila. That's a good thing right there. Thank you indeed, Frank. <laughs> uh, we are going to look at Romans. Uh, we're still in chapter 8, and we're looking at verses 9 through 11 tonight. So a very short reading tonight, okay? Again, it picks up on where we left off last night. Remembering that Romans is, Paul's letter to the Christians living in Rome is theologically very deep. And there's a lot in there to, to chew on. Chapter 8, verses 9 through 11. Paul picks up. But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit, if that Spirit of God really lives in you. But the person who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. Your body will always be dead because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then the Spirit gives you life because Christ made you right with God. Now, excuse me, God raised Jesus from the dead. And if God's Spirit is living in you, 
he will also give life to your bodies that die. God is the one who raised Christ from the dead, and he will give life through his spirit that lives in you. And now, the devotion for tonight is entitled, Living with the Spirit. My husband Tim is living with dementia. We talk about it and name it to others. Some think we shouldn't. I recall how some in earlier generations called cancer the big C and didn't like to name it to their sick loved ones. We don't want them to know, they whispered. But often those who are sick do know, deep down inside. Tim, for instance, knows that his brain is changing. Naming this reality lets others accompany us as he slips and slides away. And know this, Tim is living with dementia. The spirit of the living God falls afresh on him every day. Tim's love and joy, kindness and generosity, silliness and thoughtfulness bless us. So too his faithfulness. Gathering for worship is bewildering for him. But his face glows when he receives the body and blood of Christ. He pauses to celebrate and friends around him bask in his joy. We can see that spirit of God dwells in him. We can see that the spirit of God dwells in him, dementia and all, and we rejoice. I rejoice too that the spirit of God dwells in you. And the prayer for tonight, Holy God who raised Christ from the dead, help us celebrate your spirit in all of your children. Amen. And the prayer concern for tonight is for caregivers, and care receivers. That would be both my mom and my dad. <laughs> and now we turn our attention to our prayer list for tonight. And we begin Friday night's list with, let's see here. Um, hmm, Mike Tadavito for your brother Pete, Tim. We pray, we pray with you for your daughter, Aubrey, and all college freshmen who are about ending their year now. They're freshmen coming to the end of that freshman year. Sonia, who just got back from Minnesota, we're praying with her for her family members. Steve, uh, we join you in thanking God for your dad's recovery. And Mike, we join you in praying for, let's see, we were praying for Nate's parents. We can still pray for them. Thank God for their recovery as well. And Michelle, for your friend facing that life decision, she needs to, to come to some conclusion. Okay? All right. And now we turn our attention to the last thing that we do together each night, guys. We say the nightly office, which is called Compline. It is a Benedictine tradition, and it begins with the invitatory or the opening sentence. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Psalm 31 is the psalm appointed for Friday. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And the gospel for tonight is from Matthew. Excuse me, the lesson from tonight, for tonight is taken from the gospel of Matthew. Come to me, all that you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest in your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And now in the words our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold every time we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep. Oops. And asleep we may rest in peace. The mechanical is a song of singing. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now, and a morning prayer for those who will be joining us first thing. First of all, good morning, y'all. Your boundless love rises fresh with each new dawn, O Lord. Speak peace to our hearts as you spoke to the disciples. Enfold us in your love and fill us with your with your joy, that we may share your healing grace with every soul we meet. Amen. And now, may the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you and keep you now and always. Amen and amen. Hey guys, that is going to do it for us tonight. I'm so glad you took the time to be here tonight. And I pray that you have a very restful night. I hope your tomorrow is even better than your today. In the meantime, be well, be safe, love each other, love God with all your heart. And as my pop says, good Lord willing, the crypt don't rise. I'll see you right here tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Facebook. Happy Saturday. <laughs>